few years ago, the government of Uganda selected 24 roads to be maintained by the Uganda National Roads Authority, also known as UNRWA, at a cost of 258 billion shillings and is expected to be completed within 36 months. The contract was awarded to the China State Construction Engineering Corporation, also known as CSCEC, and is fully funded by the government of Uganda. Right here is the 11-kilometer road from Najanakumbi to Busawala, commonly known as Busawala Road. It was one of the roads that was selected to be maintained. So I'm going to take you guys right from Masaja up to the Ndebe Expressway to let you know where they have reached so far. Come, let's go. It's just as you can see. We used to have a lot of buildings up to the other side. They broke it and I've just seen that they are going to make also a flyover here. This flyover is going to connect the other road. That is up to Busawala Beach. And then from Busawala Beach, it's going to, it's going to be a flyover so that uh, those who are passing here, because this is the expressway, those who are passing through the expressway, they just go express. Then those who are crossing, they're going to cross through the flyover and then to Busawala Road and then that side up to Makindi. Wow, this is nice. So, still in Kusabala Road. And guys, the road, Kusabala Road construction has already begun. You can see the difference in the road where we are from and here. You can realize that road is actually being constructed as you can see. We are still in Masaja. I'm going to take you along up to up to Chiriri. I think we shall go up to Expressway. Up to Expressway. And done properly. If you knew where we came from, then you know how this road actually was before. This road was very, very narrow and very, very bad, like very bad. But right now, it's no longer narrow and it's fair. Although it's still under construction, it's fair. So the first thing they need is to expand the road. This is Masaja Market. Ah, people are already selling their stuffs. So we are still in Masaja and uh, in front there you can see those guys are, are doing what they are supposed to be doing. So you can see here these people are very busy doing what they are supposed to be doing. You can see they are China, they are also there. So this is Masaja. So
So guys, all this area is under Wakiso district. Wakiso is somehow confused. Eh? I don't know how this area even is under Wakiso. I can't even understand anything like that. Are still in Asaja. You can see these guys are, are very busy laying. They are trying to make something like this. The power concrete. I think it's for drainage. Here, there is nothing yet. Like I said, the road is still under construction, as you can see. And by the way, this very place you see here. Uh, there are so many plots of land ready for sale. If you want, you can just come around meet a nearby broker. Because as soon as this road is complete, this place is very near to Kampala town. Somebody can just be sleeping here and then working in Kampala with very less hassle. They made their drainage tunnels. This is how they made the drainage tunnels here. So we are still in Masaja. We are very soon approaching Gang. Yeah? Yeah. Gambo actually starts here. This is where Gambo starts. So we are already in Gambo. Yeah, you can see Gambo secondary school. So Gambo. Those are all vehicles or trucks being used in the construction of the road. Savala Road is under construction. So you see, some, like I told you, they expanded some of the, the buildings which were near the road were actually broken down so as to allow road expansion. I knew this place before and even I'm getting lost now because this road was very 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 narrow so this is Gambo still So this is Gangu Town. Currently we are in Gangu, Gangu Town, still on Pusawala Road. You can see the progress on the Pusawala Road so far. So this is Gangu Town.
This is Gambo town. It's not a serious town as so, as such, but uh, so because of the construction of Savala Road, somebody is already constructing a petrol station here. That's good. That's a very good one. So this is still Gambo town. So this was the petrol station which was here and it is still there. So from this very part here, you can see that the road is getting much better. Very, very much better from here. And I can see that these guys are really very serious here. So we are still in Gangu. This is still Gangu. We are still in Gangu. We are still in Gambo, guys. We are heading to Shiviri. We are heading to Shiviri. I'm going to take you right up to the last point of this road. If you knew this place before, surely me too have lost because this place used not to be like this. Uh, as, or maybe you haven't yet reached the town. We are in Chiviri. This is Chiviri town. We haven't hit town. It's really town start from there. Yeah, this is Shibiri town. This is the one I used to know. Yes, this is Shibiri town. Actually here, they haven't yet done much. This is still Chibiri.
here, they haven't yet touched anything. But I'm determined to follow this road up to the end. And then, uh, I, as you are seeing also, I want to show you guys up to the end. So basically, it rained this morning. And this is how people used to suffer here when it rained. So when this road is complete, a lot is going to change. A lot is going to change when this road is complete. But uh, I think these guys have uh, expanded this road. Because this road was very, very narrow. So they have expanded it. Those have not yet done much from here. And even here, used to be some buildings. So they have broken them down to allow the construction of the road. There were very many buildings here. Just around here. Around there, there were so many buildings here. So they broke them so that they can allow the expansion of this road. And just in here, this is Kampala Expressway.